Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with Home and Entrepreneur. So in this video, I'm gonna give you nine small business ideas with low investment and low risk. So let's jump into that right now. So the first one we have is affiliate marketing. Okay, and the best way to do this is affiliate marketing with Amazon and you do it through YouTube. So this is just my, my YouTube page. Um, so you can see I did a video, it's more like a vlog style video. This is my life, homemade entrepreneur vlog number one. Uh, you know, decent amount of views. Um, but inside of it, so I have all these links here. This is to a you know, guide, whatever. Down here at the very bottom, these are all links to Amazon. Somebody clicks on these links and goes and buys you know the Canon 70D, uh, the lens, the microphone, or the Canon G7X, I would get a little bit of money from that. That is affiliate marketing. Why is this a low investment? It's a low investment because all you use is your time. Okay, this just costs me time, no money to make. Now, why is it low risk? Because you are not actually selling something of your own. Because of that, that is why it's low risk. You're just promoting somebody else's products, making a little bit of money from it. That is why I love affiliate marketing as a low investment, low risk business opportunity. Let's go to the second one. Kindle eBooks. Now I already typed in some you know words and got up got to this page, but Kindle eBooks are a great thing to sell. Why? Because all it all it takes is your time. When you put something on Kindle, it's all online. There are no you know paper form books. Now you can go and do that on another website but I'm not talking about that right now just Kindle so Kindle publishing look at these books now I doubt you can beat Tony Robbins but if you did great uh, then you got a five second rule Let's see some newer books um, here's one with only one review 6200 in paid Kindle publishing so it's probably selling decently reinvent yourself uh, it's selling for $1.99 there's 101 uh, reviews on it right now it's selling okay let it go by Peter Walsh it's probably a good book. Okay, so and you know here's here's another one, a cooking one. You can make money with Kindle publishing. Now the reason why it's low investment is because the only investment is really your time. The reason why it's low risk is because if people don't like the book, you're not really losing out on anything. Just the time that you spent writing the book, making the cover, putting up the listing. That's it. Let's jump to number three. Number three, um, I'm actually using Udemy, and what I'm what I search for is affiliate marketing. The reason why I did that is because there's a lot of money in affiliate marketing courses. What you are doing is you are selling a course. You are becoming an instructor, selling a course. Now, don't don't bother, you know, don't really look at the ten dollars right here on all these or pretty much all of them, uh, because that is pretty much a, a Udemy, um, you know, requirement almost. If you want them to promote your courses, you have to. Uh, you know, uh, enlist in their $10 promotional days. So don't really worry about that. But what if this person sold 1,565 of these, or that's the ratings that they have, okay? And if they sold them for all for $195, that's a lot of money to make on a course. So I highly recommend this one, um, selling stuff on Udemy. It's a great way to make some money. Um, you know, a $200 right here. This is just an affiliate marketing. Okay, there's other things uh, you can talk about sewing, you can talk about, you know, grocery shopping, you can talk about, you know, saving money through taxes or whatever. There's a lot of money to be made. You just got to make a course, make something that you're passionate about and interested in and make something that, you know, other people are going to buy. Now, the reason why this is low investment is because you don't actually have to invest anything. Again, it's all your time. Now, uh, you will probably at some point have to invest in somebody to edit your course uh, people to take it, maybe give you, you know, feedback, whatever. You might have to invest a little bit, but it would be very low investment. The reason why it's low risk is because if people don't like it, they give you, let's say, a one star or two star, whatever. You know, all you lose now is your time. Now, time is valuable. Time is very important to me. But if you're just starting out with any online, any small business, I recommend utilizing your time versus any capital that you would put in towards that business. Let's jump to number four.
Number four is becoming a freelance writer. I talk about this all the time because I used to be a full-time freelance writer. Now, just look at this. $35 an hour, $35 an hour, $77, $78 an hour, $30 an hour, $32 an hour, $25 an hour, $25 an hour, $25 an hour, $25 an hour, $35, and so on. I keep going. These people are making great money per hour, okay? 100% job success, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 97%. These people are making great money. You can make great money as a freelance writer. You just got to put in the work. The reason this is low investment is because all you're investing is your time. That is it. You are not putting up any money as of yet. The reason why this is low risk is because if somebody that doesn't like your writing and they say they kick it back, you say, I want it written again, you write it again. You edit it, you fix it, you make it better because not only are you making their work better, and they're actually going to pay you for that. They're making it better on you because now you are learning a different way. You're learning a better way to fix your writing. Okay. So that's why it's low risk. Let's jump to number five. Number five is becoming a YouTuber. I talked about in, in a recent video, very recent actually, a few days ago, talked about how much you small YouTubers make uh, in 2016. End up making a little over seventy thousand uh, dollars, primarily from YouTube. It wasn't all directly or directly from YouTube, but uh, the majority of it was all coming from uh, the traffic and everything on YouTube. So, if you want to become a YouTuber and you want to make some money, I guarantee you, uh, there's money in YouTube. But you got to put in the work. The reason it's low investment is because it doesn't cost you anything to put up a video. All you got to do, you can do it from your phone. You can do it from a camera you already have. You can do it right from your computer. You can do a, a screencast. Um, which I think this guy did down here. Um, you can, the reason why it's low risk is because if people don't like your video, then change it up, make a different type of video. Let's jump to number six. Number six, this is something that uh, I'm not very good at making headers. So this is a Facebook header. You can become a header designer and you can do it for Facebook, you can do it for blogs, you can do it for YouTube, you can do it for, um, you know, anywhere pretty much. So let's see this person, uh, their, their feedback or their, their star rating is 473. And if they're charging $10 a piece, they're making decent money to make a header it might take them five to maybe 15 minutes. If you charge, let's say it takes them 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So they can do four an hour. If they charge $10. That's $40 an hour. Not bad. Okay. This person, 104, uh, one, one rating. It's a newer person charging 15. That's pretty cool though. Uh, 565 and five dollars okay this is a header designer there's other things you can do okay you can do logos you can if you're you know banners uh, social media design book covers as far as you know Kindle and stuff like that that's another great thing okay so if you're good with you know Photoshop with uh, you know illustrator or whatever software is out there that you can use I'm not exactly sure but because I don't do headers myself but it's a great business to get into the reason is low investment because all you need is a software that that you can actually make the the headers from uh, my guess it's Photoshop or something else Photoshop I know right now I think it's like nineteen twenty dollars a month if you were to get it on a month-to-month -month basis the reason it's low risk is because you're not really making them ahead of time you're not you know selling your know, pre-made ones they're all custom-made so people are paying you up front for them that's why it's low risk you're pretty much guaranteed you're gonna get the money let's jump into number seven Number seven is blogging. You can make a lot of money blogging. Now, the reason I came to johnchow.com is because this is the guy that taught me how to make money. This guy, I think, makes, currently, I think, makes over $100,000 per month. Um, let me get out of that. I'm pretty sure he makes a little bit over $100,000 per month. I'm I'm not going to say that's, you know, guaranteed. Uh, but John Chow is the person that taught me how to blog, taught me how to make money online. Highly recommend checking out. Yeah, six-figure monthly income. So I highly recommend checking him out. Go to johnchow.com, just like that. And, you know, you can, you can make some great money with blogging. Nice thing about blogging is people will pay you to put your their ads on your site. So right over here. Okay, I think this is from buysellads.com or lead pages or something. I don't know. Um, so that's where these from. So he probably charges maybe $200 a month to have them on their site six of them there's 1200 maybe some more up here whatever he's making money i guarantee it so blogging is a great thing to do 
The reason it's low investment is because all you're doing is investing your time. The reason it's low risk because if people don't like you, change it up. If you're not writing or you're not blogging about the things people are interested in, change it up. It's very low risk. You can change things online very quickly and very easily. We're going to jump into number eight. Before I do, I just want to warn you. I'm not promoting anything, but this is something the page that I pulled up is from Ty Lopez. So if you don't like him, skip over this. But all it is is social media marketing. I'm not saying go buy his course. I'm not saying even sign up. Yes, it's free, but he will sell to you at some point and he's going to sell to you very often. He's good at selling. Okay. But being a social media marketer and having a social media marketing agency is all you're doing is getting small businesses to hire you. So let's see, like this person getting paid a thousand dollars a month with her first client. That's great. Okay. It happens a lot. Okay. What you need to understand is that you can become a social media marketing uh, company or firm. It's actually pretty easy to get into. All you need to do is go find local companies, charge them a thousand dollars a month or five hundred dollars a month or whatever, and just get them going. Get them going on social media. Okay, that is you know from YouTube, that is from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever. A lot of people are not on social media. Get them on social media and charge them for your efforts. Okay, so I'm gonna get away from Ty Lopez. I know a lot of people don't like seeing him. But he is very good at selling. If there's one thing you can learn from him, it is how to sell. Other things, you know, there's probably other people out there that'll, that'll teach you a little bit better than he would. So let's jump to number nine, actually. <laughs> number nine is an Etsy seller. This is a great small business idea with a very low investment and low risk. Why is it a low investment? And I'm just talking about bird handmade birdhouses particularly. Is how expensive is it to make a birdhouse like this? Honestly, I have no clue. My guess is something like this might take, um, if you cut all the pieces ahead of time, it might take you to do 10, maybe two hours. If you're selling at $19.95 a piece, you know, you're going to make some good money. Uh, this person's $46.99 for four birdhouses out of cedar. Those are actually pretty cool looking. You know, this one right here, you just nail it to the side of a tree. Pretty cool looking. Twenty-seven fifty for one. I guarantee you the amount of money that they're spending on this wood is not that much. So the reason it's low investment is because spending buying a one piece of wood for maybe, you know, four or five dollars, not that much. The time it's gonna take you to cut it and stick up a picture on Etsy, it's not gonna take you that long. Okay? You know the the risk involved in it. You know, what if you make one, put it on there, it doesn't sell. Then you're only out that, you know, 4 to $5 for the wood and the time it took you to build it and list it on Etsy. That's it. So it's a very low investment business, but also low risk. So hopefully you liked all these uh, low investment, low risk business ideas. I'm going to run back through them one more time just to show you. If you have any questions, please put that in the comment section below. Make sure you smash that like button. It just shows me that you like this video and I'll keep doing more like this. So birdhouses, selling stuff on Etsy, becoming a social media marketer, blogging. I guarantee you blogging will make you money, but you got to put in a lot of work to it. Okay. A Facebook designer, a header designer. This is particularly Facebook. Like I said, Facebook, Twitter, um, you can also do it on YouTube. There's a lot of places and even blogs. You can make money doing YouTube. Okay. Like I said, in 2016, I personally made over $70,000 from YouTube alone. Become a freelance writer. And I particularly like Upwork.com, but there's other sites out there. You can go to freelancer.com. There's textbook or there's other sites. Check out some of my other videos if you want to know more about that. There are also um, course design or course sellers. So you're pretty much selling an online course. You put up some, you know, videos, you put up some, you know, content and you, as long as it's quality, you can make some money. Kindle publishing. This is how a lot of people started on online in online business, you know, a few years back, but this is a great way to make money. Kindle publishing is still very profitable, but you got to do it correctly. You got to write quality books. You got to have a quality cover. You got to write a quality uh, title and you will make some money, guarantee it. And the last thing, or the first thing, if you watch it in the other order, is 
affiliate marketing like I said this is just a vlog style video about this is my life if you want to go check it out I'll put some links in the link in the uh, description box below but at the very end I always or normally say what my camera equipment is so I got my camera my my main camera my vlogging style camera my video mic um, and then also my uh, camera lens that's what I put on there like I said, if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you've yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe today, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.